Hi, welcome to this section of the Matrix Algebra Tutor. And this section actually takes the cake for the most convoluted, confusing, intimidating sounding uh, section probably in any course I've taught. The title of this section is Gaussian Elimination and Gauss-Jordan Elimination, okay? Now if that doesn't, uh, you know, give you the creepy crawlies just by thinking about that, you shudder a little bit, then something's wrong with you. I mean, that sounds complicated. Even to me, that sounds complicated. Really? If you just take that title, if I, if I were to title it really the way I think it should be titled, it would say something like this. Uh, simplifying matrices uh, in order to solve equations. That's basically what it would say, because that's all you're doing. We're going to take the information that we learned in the section before, what are the legal operations we could do to, matri to matrices in order to simplify them, okay, to, to transform them, to make row equivalent matrices, okay? And we're going to do that, and so and, and we're going to continue doing it over and over and over again, until we beat the matrix into a special form that makes the equations easy to solve. That's basically all you're going to do. One of those special forms is called Gaussian elimination. Uh, and you've actually already seen it, I just didn't tell you. And you saw it in the previous section, so don't worry too much about it. It's not a big deal. The next one's Gauss-Jordan elimination. It's just a little bit, it's just a little bit uh, beyond what you do when you do the Gaussian elimination. But it's basically the same thing. You're continuing to simplify the matrix down to a very special form. Okay. So, let me go ahead and show you what that form is, and then we're going to do some problems where I give you the matrix, and we're going to start simplifying, uh, you know, line by line by line until we get it into that form, and then once we get it in that form, we can solve the equation easily, okay? So let's do that. First thing we want to do is uh, write this down. To solve a system of equations using what we're going to go ahead and call Gaussian elimination. You're going to do the following. By the way, Gaussian elimination, it, it, uh, there was this famous mathematician, uh, uh, Gauss, okay, who you probably see in lots of different places if you study math long enough, and he you know, invented this. So that's why it's called Gaussian elimination. It's a person's name. Okay. Step one. I'm going to go ahead and write these down in blue just to break it up. Okay, step one. Okay, write the system of equation in matrix form. Write the system of equations in matrix form. This is very simple. We've been doing that before. That's just simply taking the system of equations x, y, and z and putting them into a matrix bracket. That's, that's all that is. Just for completeness, we put it here. Step two, perform row uh, operations as necessary to transform the matrix into the following form. And don't freak out too much about the following form because I've actually already showed you this form. I just didn't tell you. So I pulled a fast one on you. Okay? What is that special form of a matrix? Let me go ahead and use red here. The form that we're basically going to be trying to chase our tail until we reach is going to look like this. Okay? We're going to have one, 